You're listening to the Options Insider Radio Network, the home of the Options Podcast. For more quality options programs, visit theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app available on the iTunes and Google Play stores. Select programs are also available via live stream at Mixler.com slash options dash insider. That's M-I-X-L-R dot com slash options dash insider. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at Twitter.com slash options, StockTwits.com slash options, Facebook.com slash the options insider, or via questions at the options insider.com. Welcome to the Options Playbook, the program where we break down cutting-edge option strategies and explain how you can incorporate them into your own portfolio. Whether you're looking to grow your capital with some offensive maneuvers or protect your investments with defensive plays, you can find them all in the Options Playbook. The Options Playbook is brought to you by Ally Invest. Anything mentioned today is for educational purposes and is not a recommendation or advice. Options involve risk. Please refer to ally.com slash invest slash disclosures to review additional risks involved with trading options. Securities offered through Ally Invest Securities, LLC, member FINRA, and SIPC. Now, let's open the playbook and get started. Welcome to Options Playbook Radio. I'm your host, Brian Overby, Ally Invest Senior Options Analyst and author of the Options Playbook. Well, we're getting into earnings season again, and uh, last week we looked at symbol BBBY, and Bed Bath and & Beyond, and in that underlying stock we looked at buying call options around earnings. Now, we're taping Options Playbook Radio right now, and the date is July 10th. That is the day that BBBY is supposed to be announcing earnings after the close. And so the stock, the trade hasn't played out. I was kind of hoping that it would have. Well, normally, we would tape after the close, and we would know, have some indication of where, uh, what the earnings was and uh, where the stock was going. But at this point in time, uh, the stock has moved up just a little bit, so the long call was a good trade so far. We bought the July 10th strike paper trade. Uh, it had 18 days remaining expiration. Now it only has 11 days remaining, but it is it was an extra week of time after the earnings announcement. It was the July 19th expiration. So uh, we'll see how that plays out, and we'll look at it next week. Now, let's look at another earnings trade. Uh, we've been talking a lot about Boeing, and I think we're just going to have to have a recap on Boeing. Uh, it's been a very interesting stock to trade in the options world, partly because it's an expensive stock, and that always gives you a lot of time premium, a lot of juice, and lets you get creative with your option strategies. And then also we've had a lot of news. So we looked at doing a long straddle when there was no quote-unquote major news that was uh, that we were looking to announce and the long shadow worked out and then we knew that they were going to be announcing earnings and they're going to be announcing earnings Boeing right now on the 24th before the open so we looked at doing a time spread and waiting for that earnings announcement now I want to go in and look at a butterfly uh, we're going to use that same expiration as we did with the time spread and look at the July 26th expiration. And we flipped a coin, and we're going to be bullish on the underlying, uh, as with always on Options Playbook Radio. Nothing's meant to be a recommendation when we uh, literally pick direction. It's just with a coin flip. Uh, we're here more to talk about strategies and why you would pick this strategy over that strategy based off of the pricing conditions in the option contracts. And so we're going to go long this underlying, we're going to do it fairly cheaply with a butterfly. And it's okay if you put the trade on right now, mainly because uh, as far as implied volatilities are concerned, if the market goes with you, you can still get paid out on this butterfly. You could still do okay with it. 
but implied volatilities will actually help if the underlying market goes down. So when I'm looking at doing a butterfly in a high price stock like this, I don't mind going a, few, a week or so before they actually announce the earnings just to see what happens, and then I can adjust the trade accordingly. So you could wait and do uh, the setup on this butterfly on the 23rd of July, the day before they announce earnings. Um, but we're going to talk about doing it today, and, and when we come back uh, on the 24th, which is a Wednesday, and we look to tape options, public radio, we'll look at all three of the strategies in Boeing and just talk about all of them and, and the approach to it. So with that said, let's get to the strategy. We are going to do a long butterfly using calls. All of the calls will have a July 26th expiration date. The July 26th expiration date currently is 16 days away. Right now, Boeing stock is trading at 352.64. The market is open. We are going to buy the July 26th expiration 360 call, sell two of the July 26th expiration 375 calls, and then buy one of the July 26th 390 calls. Uh, with that, with those strikes that we have chosen, we have a 15-point wide butterfly. That means the maximum upside is 15 on this butterfly. Total cost of the trade is $2.70. That's our max risk on the trade. Um, our break-evens, we need this underlying to trade between 262.70 and 380.30. That's our range of prices that this underlying stock can trade in if they come out with a decent earnings after their announcement. So the expected move in Boeing, like I mentioned, is $17. So this is definitely within the range. If you take two, 352.50, basically where they're current underlying stock is at and you add 17 to it you're right around 370 369.50 to be more exact so right around 370 is right in the middle of our butterfly and we planned it that way uh 360 is the long call 375 is the short call and we would love it to land right within that range now the perfect scenario is if it stop, lands and stops right at 375 right at the expiration date um, so we're going to look to put on this long call butterfly. We have limited and known risk. We can do it fairly cheaply here by, by for $2.70. Uh, we can let the trade play out. We got 16 days until that expiration date, and in 14 days they're going to be announcing earnings before the market opened. And so if the market actually moved on up and went – to the 375 strike right now, I would expect uh, to make some money on this trade. As a matter of fact, we can look at what type of money we might make by just looking at the at the money butterfly right now. Now, time decay, they've got volatility and time decay that could happen. But if the stock went to 375 right now, our 15 point wide butterfly should be trading about what the 15 point wide butterfly is trading right now in that same expiration but with the middle strike right where the stock is at, 352.50. And if I look at that, I currently see that at the midpoint, that is trading for $4.05. So if we got that type of movement on a $2.69 investment, uh, we're looking at making uh, $1.35 on that trade. So on a percentage basis, that's a pretty good uh, upside. Don't mind putting on the trade now. See if it's going to go within that range. And if anything happens and starts going against me, it allows me also to adjust the trade. I can also roll this trade into a short spread or get longer on the trade if I would like to. All right, so that's it for this episode of Options Playbook Radio. If you have a topic you'd like to discuss on the show or a question you'd like us to answer on the program, you can send them directly to me at theoptionsguy at invest.li.com. Thanks for listening. We'll be back at the same time, same place next week. Until then, may all the options you bought finish in the money and all the ones you sold finish out. The Options Playbook is brought to you by Ally Invest. 
Anything mentioned today is for educational purposes and is not a recommendation or advice. Options involve risk. Please refer to ally.com slash invest slash disclosures to review additional risks involved with trading options. Securities offered through Ally Invest Securities, LLC, member FINRA and SIPC. You're listening to the Options Insider Radio Network, the home of the Options Podcast. For more quality options programs, visit theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app available on the iTunes and Google Play stores. Select programs are also available via live stream at Mixler.com slash options dash insider. That's M-I-X-L-R dot com slash options dash insider. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at Twitter.com slash options, StockTwits.com slash options, Facebook.com slash the options insider, or via questions at the options insider.com.